Welcome to Lex of Harris. Today's video is all about the Louis Vuitton Toilet Tree Pouch 15. And today's video, I'll be sharing my thoughts and impressions on this piece. I will show you how much and what you can actually fit inside. And of course, let you know if I think it's worth the cost. So if that sounds like something you're interested in watching, I hope you would consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, let's talk about the detailed features of the Toiletry 15. It is 5.9 inches in length, 3.9 inches in height, and 1.6 inches wide. It currently retails for 490 US dollars or 335 euros. It is only available in the beautiful classic coded monogram canvas print. Also get the Toiletry pouch in the size 19 as well as 26. The pouch features brass gold zipper closure and at the tip of the zippered closure you have this untreated bichette leather tab with your maiden stamp and this particular piece was made in France. Here's a look at the side of the toiletry pouch. It does not feature any glazing so that is a major pro when it comes to wear and tear so you don't have to worry about the glazing melting off over time. Here's a look at the bottom of the pouch. So you have no feet at the bottom. Look at the back of the pouch. So it is made of one piece of continuous canvas. On the back, the LV initials are upside down. Front, the initials are right side up. The interior of the toiletry opens up to this beautiful beige washable grain cowhide leather lining and you have no slip pockets or compartments inside, so it's just a very wide opening. Now, although the Toiletry Pouch 15 is very small, what I love the most about this piece is the fact that it's very practical, had no issues with this piece. The Toiletry Pouch 15 was the very first out of the three that I own in my collection. In fact, when I purchased the Toiletry Pouch 15, there wasn't such a high demand for this piece. So it was always readily available. By the way, I've owned this piece for 10 years. And check out the patina, guys. It has held up very well for a 10-year-old piece. No issues whatsoever with the hardware, no scratches, no tarnishing. And again, as I mentioned in one of my other review videos, back then, the canvas that Louis Vuitton used to use was a lot thicker and durable. So this is that thick, sturdy canvas material. So in terms of wear and tear, it's going to be very minimal on this pouch. The only wear that you will eventually see will be on the untreated vachette leather. It will patina over time, but I wouldn't necessarily consider that wear and tear. It's a normal process for untreated leather, but that is the only thing that you can expect to see in terms of a difference with the toiletry pouch 15. So now let me show you what you can actually fit inside of this tiny pouch. If you like to carry an eyeshadow quad with you, that will fit perfectly inside. And this is one of my Yves Saint Laurent eyeshadow quads. My Chanel compact powder also fits perfectly. Lipsticks will also fit inside of this pouch. So I have two of my favorite Hermes lipsticks. If you like to carry a bronzer inside of your cosmetic pouches, I went ahead and placed my Fenty Beauty bronzer. And as you guys can see, that fits perfectly. The only additional item that I would add would be my Fenty Beauty Bright Eye Fix. Does close with the eye fix placed at the top. Zipper pull is pretty good. I don't think it's distorted given the amount of contents that I have inside. Now, when I give you a side view, you can definitely see that it is stretching out the canvas, but nothing too significant. Here is another side view and a look at the back. A full-size foundation will also fit inside of the Toiletry 15, and this one is a Chanel foundation. I also added my Fenty Beauty Ease Drop foundation, and that fits perfectly alongside the Chanel. Chanel La Creme Egg Cream will also fit inside of the Toiletry Pouch 15. In addition to the foundation, you can also add a compact, and actually this one is my Chanel Blush. And I also added an eyeshadow quad, and this one is by the Lip Bar. Matchstick will also fit, as well as a lipstick. So let's go ahead and close her up to see how she closes. Closes perfectly. This, so this is also another great option. Here's a side view. Now, it is a little bit bent out of shape at the bottom, but that doesn't bother me too much. Everything is still intact. 
And if you just like to carry the Bare Beauty Essentials with you when it comes to your makeup, this time I went ahead and added the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop. I've also added my Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation, my Lip Bar Eyeshadow Quad, as well as a mini hand sanitizer. And as you guys can see, that fits perfectly. Still have additional room if I wanted to add my Fenty Beauty Eye Fix and a lipstick. And here is another makeup option. I went ahead and placed my bronzer, my compact mirror, the Fenty Beauty Eye Fix the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop, as well as hand sanitizer. The only thing that I would add on top of the eye fix would be a lipstick, and this one is by Gucci, and here she is. Now, I'm not sure if she will close with the eavesdrop standing up. I just wanted to share this option because I know some people don't like to have their foundation laying flat for fear that it will spill. One thing I must say, if you're concerned about laying your foundation flat, for fear of it spilling, you can wipe this clean. I have washed the interior of this particular toiletry pouch and all you need is just a damp cloth and soap and it will remove all of the makeup traces. Fenty Beauty Foundation is too tall for this pouch, so unfortunately you're unable to close it, so you would have to lay it flat. This is how it would look when you lay the foundation flat. So let's go ahead and close her. A little bit bent out of shape, but nevertheless, it does close. So overall, I love the toiletry pouch 15. In fact, I love all three sizes. I also own it in the 19 and 26. In terms of the price, I think it's reasonably priced. 490 US dollars or 335 euros isn't too bad for this piece. This is a great toiletry pouch for your nano size handbags. So for those of you that own the Nano Speedy or the Nano Noe, this particular pouch fits perfectly in those type of handbags. It also fits in compact bags like the Pochette Matisse. And of course, you can place it inside of your medium or larger size handbags. I love the fact that it fits all of my makeup essentials plus more. It fits comfortably inside any size handbags. So that is one of the reasons why I highly recommend the toiletry pouch. I know it has gone through its fair share of price increases. But even with the price increase, although I did not pay anywhere near 335 euros for this piece, as I mentioned, I've had this piece in my collection for 10 years. If something were to happen to this piece, I would still repurchase it all over again today. As you guys can see, it has held up very well over the years. And I just enjoy utilizing this particular pouch inside of my smaller size handbag. So that is it, guys. That concludes my review of the Toiletry Pouch 15. I hope you found this video helpful and it helped you make a decision as to whether or not you should add this piece to your collection. As always, I thank you so much for tuning in to Luxa Paris and I will chat with you guys in my next video. I, I,